Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Eva and I'm a comic artist based in Singapore. I'm also better known as Eva Comics, which is also the name of this channel. So today I'm going to share with you my experience submitting three story comics to Japanese publishers when I was so much younger. Um, so back in, uh, it was actually back in 2007 to 2009. And I submitted three uh, story comics to Japanese publishers back then. And uh, yeah, so the reason why I submitted to the Japanese publishers was because I dreamed of uh, becoming a comic artist, a mangaka, what we call mangaka in, in Japanese. Um, and also, there wasn't many comic publishers in Singapore. In fact, now is uh, even less. <laughs> uh, probably can count with one hand or a few fingers. So that was why I uh, tried to get myself published in Japan. So let's get started. So this is the first work that I submitted to the Japanese publisher called Shueisha for their manga magazine called Cookie. And it's actually a monthly uh, manga magazine that is targeted to young girls. So it's a sh mainly shoujo manga. So shoujo manga means comics for young girls. So obviously it's going to be about romance. And the title of the comic that I submitted was called Moonlight. And it was done in 2007 when I was just 26 years old. So yeah, this story was inspired by... Um, uh, Italian poet called Dante and his love with another girl called Beatrice so over here you can see that uh, back in the in those days uh, 17 years ago there's no digital submission so everything has to, do, to be done in paper format and this mm -hmm. is actually B4 size so it's slightly bigger than A4 and uh, so I actually printed these out. I, it was done in uh, this software called Manga Studio, which is currently called Clip Studio. Yeah, so Manga Studio is the one, is the name that is licensed to the US market. And it was called Comic Studio in Japan. But now the whole thing, the whole series is called Clip Studio. And, um, oh yeah. Okay, so over here you can see the submission form. So there's this form that you have to print and fill out your details and also any questions you have for the editors over there. And you can see very clearly that I was uh, 26 years old at that time. And because it was printed and some pages have like, um, we call it beta, these black parts. It's so it's not possible to write on them like, let's say if you want white text so one thing you can uh, i mean back then that you can do is actually put a, tra uh, a tracing paper over and just write the words on top and let's say it's not the whole thing it's just part of it like this part over here you just uh, cut it accordingly and you use masking tape to stick it over the top and just uh, write it all on top and have it submitted together and of course remember to label your page number so this was a total of 33 pages including the cover page which was this one and so you can check it out so yeah so it's actually a love story between those two people and uh, I was young back then so that's why <laughs> it's about this um, this young man who loved this lady and he died and uh, and he actually was somewhere like in hell and he wanted to see the girl again but she has reincarnated and he met this guy who it seems to be like the devil who want, who would grant him his wish to go back to see the girl again but there is a price to be paid so this is the love story the architecture is heavily influenced by my time spent in uh, San Francisco. I was uh, still, I just graduated. I think I just graduated from uh, the Academy of Art University. And so the, a lot of the backdrop and costumes are actually inspired from actual uh, places there. 
and people I, I see over, over there. So such as this one is actually Grace Cathedral. Um, I didn't draw this, I just pros I took a photo of it and then I processed it into like a manga setting. So yeah, too lazy to do the perspective drawing. <laughs> So, but this is actually a common practice for even professional mangaka, like sometimes they will use actual photos and process it to be black and white for their back background for some artists. So yeah, that's the end of it. Yeah. So after I submitted this, I actually asked my Japanese friend to help me do the translation so it's kind of accurate. and. Um, you have there's a specific format to follow when you do your submission back in those days um so when i sent in this is actually a submission to another attempt to submit to another comic magazine and you have a specific format of uh, writing the address and which contest that you are going for so this is like a sample I didn't submit to this one eventually, but yeah. And uh, after, I forgot how long, but I got a reply from them. And they actually sent me a feedback package. So what happened is you can attach an envelope, of course, B4 size, to have your manuscript returned, which was what I did. So when they return my manuscript, I have to write my address, my own address, and they'll just paste a stamp and they'll just mail it back to you. And this was what I received from the mail from them. I don't think they, they do it right now because it's actually quite costly to do that. I'm not too sure because this has been like 17 years ago. And basically they, they have this, uh, it's like a clear plastic where they actually have printed some guides for how to write the speech bubbles. Like how much text to you know, if you have so much text, these speech bubbles have to be this big. So at that time, the most uh, famous, I think, comic that was serializing on that uh, manga magazine is called Nana. And I also really like Nana. So that's really it was really famous. And because of that, I actually bought Vivian Westwood items. That was how crazy I was. So it's actually like rock punk style of comic. And uh, yeah, so actually the the manga magazine Cookie is now bi-monthly instead of monthly. Yeah, so I thought this was really cool. And they also taught you, like, they teach you like, okay, you should leave blank at certain spaces, like certain parts for the trim mark and the crop mark. And this part would be the safe place to put all your... Uh, panels as well as your speech bubbles and they also sent in samples of their existing comic artists so the CCC is comic uh, cookie comic challenge so this is the the uh, submissions what they call their submission exercise and um, so this booklet uh, it used to be attached together, but I, I actually open it up. And of course, you have Nana. You can see that, like what I said, they actually do some treatments of photos as backdrop and they draw on top. So it's not a uncommon practice to do that, for even for professional mangaka. A mangaka means prof uh, comic artist in Japanese. And um, there are some other works as well. So it's actually, actually a sample for you to see what kind of uh, style or format that you can explore for their comic magazine. So let me go through one by one because I found it really interesting back then. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of cool. There's different styles. There's uh, different treatments of paneling and uh, dialogues. I mean, how they draw their eyes also, are also different. This is another style, you can see it's kind of handwritten. And because it's for young girls, shoujo manga, so the eyes tends to be a bit bigger. And it's usually a romance story, so I think the camera is not focusing well. Yeah. 
They even have this kind of style, which is not as you know tightly drawn as the previous manga, and so I was surprised to see this kind of format, uh, which was quite interesting. And there's also a story about cats, which was kind of unusual because usually shoujo manga is about romance, but you also have. Cats, so I suppose, yeah, young girls also like cats. I mean, who don't like cats, right? And they also have like uh, what they call gag comics or four panel comics, we call it Yonkoma. So the story is basically like a comic strip but in a vertical format. Yeah, one, two, three, four. So it was kind of interesting to see the various styles that they have uh, for their magazine so really interesting and besides this they also gave a feedback um i really appreciate this because uh we need feedback like what do we do well or not well what can be improved on for our next submission so you can really feel that they are very sincere in um like uh nurturing upcoming comic artists for their magazine and they actually have categories and grading so this is drawing this is story and this is sense i think this means like the overall feel you get after reading the comic and uh, i think each part is upon five points and i scored a total of nine which means i fail <laughs> No, no, I fail. I, I didn't score very well. So it's very detailed on how it's broken down. So like this part is about your drawing skill. It's kind of long, but generally uh, I would summarize as the drawing skill is pretty good. It's not bad. Pretty good. Um, and this one is about the um, layout, the structure, as well as the character, which I don't score as well, as good as my drawing skill. And this would be like a comment for my drawing, sk uh, drawing skill part, the drawing only. And you can, uh, okay, so basically the comments for my character is that the expressions and the actions are not that good. Um, Imaichi means not not so good, you know, so uh, you know that you have to develop develop more on this area. And this one is about the team. Um, I think this is like the uh, the dialogues and uh, hmm the expression sort of. And this is the story, uh, the story structure, which I didn't fare very well. Actually, I fared very, very badly. I failed my story part. And this one is uh, for gag manga, so that's why it's empty. This is the part for four panel comics. And there's this part, this part is about the uh, comments for my story. So generally, uh, the person thinks that I need more development for like page four and six. Um, yeah, I need to develop more on certain parts. It was kind of difficult to read because it's kind of scribbly and it's not my first language. So I struggle a bit to, to, to try to translate it. Um, and generally speaking, I think the ending was good. I mean, I personally think my ending was pretty good. Uh, and the person also have the same sentiments that the ending from page 30 onwards was pretty good. And that was actually the climax. And this part talks about the conclusion, um, like the overall comments, like this part would be the drawing and this one is about the story uh, and uh, other things like uh, the, the, the fairy tale part. Uh, yeah, I think that was like 
something like that. So I thought this was super helpful. I think I got my friend, Japanese friend, to help me translate at that time because um, my Japanese was yeah, mama at that time. So she really helped me to translate these parts. But I kind of forgot what it was because it was like 17 years ago. And they not just gave me these, but also, and returned my script, manuscript as well, but also gave me two envelopes. Why two? Because this is actually for you to submit it to them. So they have their address on top. And by the way, you're supposed to cancel this off and yeah, put summer instead. Yeah, Japanese thing, very, very troublesome. But anyway, uh, yeah, so this means uh, don't fold into two. So uh, and you're supposed to paste your stamp on top of this. So that's why this is called the Oboyo Fudo. That means it's for submission. So they already fill it up for you. And uh, this is your return address. I mean, the, your, your own address. And you can already s uh, see that whether or not you want your uh, manuscript to be returned. Do you want feedback or not? Because not everyone wants feedback or not everyone wants their manuscript returned. And this one is for you to attach it together when, if, in your submission for them to return this whole package to you. So basically you would fill up your address, your name. Uh, I assume it's Japanese address. That's why there's the postal code in this format. And this is their return uh, address. So I thought that was very nice of them to do everything ready for you. So you don't really have to struggle like writing uh, the whole thing like what my friend taught me over here. It was a good experience submitting um, my first time to a Japanese publisher and I learned that my weakness was in character and expression. So um, but I realized that romance was not for me. So I decided to do romance comedy and so at that time there was this uh comic competition org organized by the publisher called kodansha and it was called morning international comic competition and they were accepting submissions from all over the world in your own language so you could feel free to yeah just submit whatever you have there was no restriction on the format nor the page number i think so I tried my hand into submitting for this contest. So this is the second work that I submitted. Uh, it's called Shichia's Pawn Shop. And uh, in Chinese, it's called Chie de Dang Pu. And it was inspired by a Taiwanese Chinese drama called Di Ba Hao Dang Pu. But the concept is a bit different. So it talks about uh, some kind of energy generated by people's lost things uh, and um, yeah so this is romance comedy and uh, yeah um, but I think uh, it can be better so what you're saying now it's a uh, reformat like uh, because the old format was done like 16 years ago so I can't open it right now I have to uh, change update the format to the current version so I will be releasing this later um, it will be sold as a downloadable file on my patreon and so I inserted the title as well as the social media accounts yeah, so with the feedback from the first submission, I know that my weakness is character and expressions. So I strived harder to improve of, on them. And I think they become slightly better, but I think the story is still pretty weak. And let me open one file. You can see that I'm really into the Japanese culture I really was an otaku and I use Japanese names like my Kurosawa Shichiya <laughs> yeah I, I won't use them now but back then I was totally into Japanese called manga and really wanted to become a mangaka so 
everything, including the names, were in Japanese. And I think the story was a bit mature. Like it's about this married couple as well. So I was I didn't have enough life experience back then. I think the story is kind still kind of weak. So, but I think the drawing skills are pretty good. I think the paneling, my paneling has certainly improved. And yeah, I think the story is still weak. And how I made certain scenes was using 3D modeling. I think a lot of people don't know this, but I was trained in 3D modeling for games uh, in the university, in the art university. So I actually used my modeling skill um, to help me uh, visualize certain scenes. Like this one was the beginning part. You can see the architecture is the same. And this was the house. Ah, this part. So you can see I actually used it as a guide for the backdrop. Here you go. So the result was released and I wasn't shortlisted nor did I win the competition. In fact, if uh, you know now, uh, 17 years later, the new, the older me, if I, the current me, is the was the judge, I would not pick my own work as well because the story was not so good. And I really lacked the life experience to do such a theme. So I decided to just do away with romance and just focus on comedy for my next attempt. And the title is the same, it's called Shichiya's Pawn Shop. And uh, you can see that it's um, there's there's no romance at all. I mean, the only slight romance was this part over here. I can zoom in for you to take a look. Uh, probably this part. This oh wait, this was the only romantic part, and yeah, that's that's about it. So you can see I really improved on my uh, drawing skill and by then I'm already like in Singapore so all the architecture are based in Singapore like these are HDB near my house and uh, I was teaching at a polytechnic I was teaching live drawing so obviously there's a lot of opportunities to do draw live uh, drawing characters so you can see that it's much better more I think it's less rigid than my very first and second submission and uh, yeah I really like this uh, this 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 uh, this comic and I think if I have one more chance uh, I would have made it even better if I have an editor to work with and the result was I got into the the first round of selection. Let me zoom out a bit so you can see it better. So you can see that there's a first, second, third, fourth, fifth round of MICC uh, result, and this was this means uh, mm, senko kekka hapyo means the first round of uh, results, release of results, and I was over here. So this is me and uh, I was quite happy but I didn't make it to the second round but to me it is a big achievement because remember the previous times I wasn't even in the first round of selection. So I that's why I think if I have you know one more chance I might make it. I don't know. I'm not very sure. After I finished submitting the third uh, comic, uh, story comic, I really feel tired and uh, I think I have enough of it because um, unlike the first publisher, the new competition by uh, Kodansha, although it's for the international creators, the international artists, um, you don't get any feedback at all except for the, you know, whether or not you get into the first round or the second round. So yeah, I had a hard time uh, trying to improve them. And actually I was working full-time at that time. I was teaching at the Polytechnic 
uh, live drawing and uh, start teaching them story. And uh, yeah, I was working on the comics on weekends and at night, weekday, weekday nights after work. So I was really tired. I had, I was running a uh, blog, Chinese blog at that time, and I was doing like a uh, comics, web comics. Um, like slice of life for my Chinese blog and there were readers and there were actually people reading them and I enjoyed doing slice of life uh, fun short comic strips than these story comics because story comics you really need someone like an editor or a client to actually throw the idea to and fro so that you can improve the overall story so I think I'm not really talented in it, um, but of course now I can do it with like uh, eight or even 18 pages long comic, but I'm not really talented with this fantasy, pure fiction uh, comics. It's really tough and I actually spent like one year doing it. Of course it was at night and on weekends um, and it was really tough. And at the end of it, uh, after trying two, two, two times, uh, they run the contest once a year, so it was already two years. I won a scholarship to Japan to study, so I thought, well, you know, I better concentrate on my study and continue doing uh, my blog comics at the same time, so I just totally scraped off the idea. And uh, when I went to Japan, the results were out and they were running the fifth, fifth time. Um, I heard that it's then oh they stopped the competition after the fifth round and I think there were a f couple of reasons the first I think is the cost because they were accepting submissions all over the world so you need a tr to pay a translator to translate those entries into Japanese for the editors to understand and secondly there could be the cultural and language issue so like remember the uh, the English language or the, we the Western language is horizontal. You write the words horizontally, but in Japanese comics, it's vertical. So eventually, um, I think out of five winners, the three top three, the three three of them, three of the top winners were from Taiwan, it's because I think the uh, cultural background and also the format were more similar to the Japanese. Uh, format because remember that the competition was ultimately to seek talent to seek work to be published for the Japanese domestic market and also I heard I forgot where I heard it from that um, this comic competition was actually only um, supported by one or two editors not the, the, the it wasn't supported by the entire team of editors in Kodansha or that department so Eventually, uh, I think most were not that supportive of this contest, so that's why it stopped running. I'm not sure if that was the truth, but I think I heard it somewhere. I forgot where. Yeah, so that is all for my sharing session. Let me check my notes. Yeah, I think I covered pretty much everything. So that was all for my experience i hope that was inspiring <laughs> or you learned something from either me or my submissions and um i currently run workshops uh i i'm running two kind of workshop the information and uh, registration details are in the description below and thank you for watching and if you would like to download the three story comics that i have shared the link is also down below and that's all for my video. Uh, stay healthy and be happy. And lastly, thank you to my patrons. Bye-bye.